Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of App Corner. In today's video, we are going to talk about an application called Video Pro C. Video Pro C is an application that has many functionalities. One of these functionalities is to convert the video you want or have to any format of your choice. In addition to that, Video Pro C introduces a variety of functions that we are going to discuss in the first episode of App Corner. So tune in to know more. To start, I'm gonna go to the official website of Video Pro C. And by the way, the links are down in the description. After going to the official website of the application, here I'm going to find uh, all the details related to the application as we can see here. I told you before, it has many functionalities, believe me. So I'm gonna click on free download as we can see here. And after clicking on the free download, the application will start downloading directly on our desktops. So tune in to know more. After downloading the application and installing it, double click on its icon found on the desktop. After launching the application, we can see that we have four options that are displayed. We have the video, the DVD, the downloader, and the recorder. To start with the first option, which is the video, upon clicking on it, I can see that I can add my file, which is a video of course, by dragging it and dropping it right here, or simply by clicking on this icon, or if I wanna add multiple amount of videos, I'm gonna click on video folder. After adding the file that I want, I can change its format from here. It means that the conversion format that I want, I can choose it exactly from here. I can click on video right here. I can choose MP4, MKV, 4K. I can also choose between devices. And also I can convert the video that I have into an audio file. But to make things easier, I recommend clicking on target format where we can choose between multiple amount of devices or types that we want video pro c also allows us to put certain effects or video before converting it or adding a watermark or cutting it or cropping it also it allows us to retain the video and add subtitles after finishing what i want to finish to my video i simply click on the run button right here the second option we're going to talk about is the DVD option that allows us to digitize DVDs to a wide range of formats. Also, the option of editing and converting the video is included. As we can see here, we can add the DVD by clicking on this icon right here, or we can add a several amount of files by clicking on the icon right here and as previously we have the options to change the formats as we want and after adding the dvd we can click on run to convert it embedded with a free downloader engine video pro c lets you download videos audios playlists from 1000 plus sites how cool is that to add a video simply we can click on add a video right here then we're going to paste the url that we want of our video I'm gonna paste it now then I'm gonna click on analyze right now the video is being analyzed as we can see here then here I have the option to choose between the several amount of qualities that I have I can select whatever I want after that I need to click on download selected videos after that, we can see the video right here. So to download it, just simply click on download now. To download an audio file, simply click on add music. Then again, we paste the link that we want and we follow the same steps. Click on analyze, the video is being analyzed. Then I'm gonna choose the quality that I want. After that, I'm gonna click on download selected videos. And right here, we can see the audio file then I'm gonna click on download now to start downloading the audio file. As for the recorder, I guess this option speaks for itself. 
This option allows you to record your screen in addition to other options like editing and showing yourself in camera and adding effects and etc. To record your screen only, simply click on screen right here as we can see here. Then after that I can crop the size of the image that I want. Then I can adjust the speaker and microphone settings. After that simply I'm going to click on record to start recording my screen. I also have another option which is screen and webcam where I can record my screen, my work here and also record myself using the webcam that I have. So I'm going to click on it, then after that I'm gonna click on record to start recording. Okay, so that's it for today folks, hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please don't forget to give me a like and click that subscribe button down there. Please take care, bye.